Hi there, I'm Chris Johnson, AKA CJ Hilljack, and this is CJ Hilljack YT. If you're stopping in for the first time, welcome, and if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. So this video today has sort of a dual purpose. Back in 2016, I unboxed, assembled, and reviewed the Pioneer Pet Raindrop Drinking Fountain for our cat Joy. And just recently, I purchased a new fountain. It is the Miss Fans 74 ounce or 2.2 liter automatic pet water fountain. Sorry, I had to read my notes because it's such a odd name. But anyway, it's this little, little square fountain you can see right here um, behind me on the desk. So the reason I wanted to touch back on the old fountain was to just give you an idea of where we ended up with it and our overall feelings about that pet fountain because we had we've had almost 10,000 views on that video now. It's by far the most watched video on this channel. Of course, there aren't very many videos on this channel to begin with, but that one has been very popular. So, that fountain only lasted us maybe a year and there were a couple things about it that have been very disappointing uh, that were very disappointing and that I wished I had made better choices when I uh, selected the fountain I got um, honestly I was looking for just something really inexpensive at the time I did settle on a plastic version of the pet raindrop fountain that company pioneer pet does have other versions of that fountain that are not plastic. So first things first, I would say if you are going to, if you have seen that video and you've been considering that fountain or any other fountain, I would highly recommend um, getting one that's stainless steel. Reason being that that model grew algae so quickly. It had that bright white top and it just attracted, it was you know sitting in a very well lit room, lots of natural light and it just, it got algae um, really easily and I found that out very quickly as soon as summer came that year and I just felt like I was constantly cleaning it and in addition to that, I had to constantly fill it. Um, all of these products usually have a, they all have a, like a minimum water line that you do not want to go below. If you go below that, the fountains will, uh, the, the, the pumps in them will start to get very noisy. And that's a very common situation with these. And it makes sense because if there's not enough water in it, it's, it's gonna, it's not gonna work correctly and it's not good for your pump. However, this raindrop um, fountain by Pioneer Pet um, would get noisy long before it got to that low water line and I had to constantly fill it and you could not tell where it was until you opened it up you literally had to um, you know like take the top off and look to know where the water line was so it was uh, it became very uh, obnoxious <laughs> to be honest I know that's a really negative uh, outlook but it just it was so noisy it was very disruptive um, so this new fountain as you can see is right here like I said on my desk and she loves that I think uh, she feels a lot more secure it's up here on the counter it's away from the dog and I'm always in close proximity and of course she trusts me so the location has worked out really well as you can see it fits in great up here and it doesn't take up a lot of space so I'm really happy that it's stainless steel I don't have to fill it very often it holds a really decent amount of water and the low water line is quite quite far down um, and so far I I've maybe top it off maybe every other day it hasn't even reached the low water line yet. Um, I usually fill it when it's about half full. So again, that's been about every other day. So not too bad. So without further ado, um, let's hop into the video and you can see how this goes together.
I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Um, I have definitely been happy with this fountain. Like I said, we've had it for a few weeks already. Joy clearly likes it. She drinks from it whether it's running or not. She definitely is ready for me to plug it in in the morning. Um, she gets kind of restless. Uh, the nice thing about the USB is you can plug it into a power bank if you need to. I hope you like that. Let me know your thoughts below. Do you have a product that is a must-have for your pet that, um, that you would like us to know about? Let us know in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.